It's Thursday, December 6th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. Today's Politico is a huge blowout Iowa ground game special edition, featuring an in-depth look at what it takes to win that all-important caucus and a candidate-by-candidate -candidate analysis that will knock your caucus socks off. Among the findings, Mike Huckabee's actual campaign organization in Iowa is rather scant. Despite his rising popularity, he's only got 12 field organizers run by a guy who says he'd rather talk to the press than to his own precinct captains. Also, the Clinton, Romney, and Obama campaigns all seem to have learned lessons from Karl Rove in 2004. And what about the fact that Romney's religion could actually help him in Iowa, given the 22,000 Mormons in that state? As for me, I wasn't chosen to be on the Iowa team, apparently. My editors has chewed my expert analysis, thinking I'm somehow better suited to sitting around here and showing random pictures of Dolly Parton, like this one. Vice President Cheney sat down for an interview yesterday with Politico in which he berated Democratic leadership in Congress, foresaw a good year for the Republicans in 2008, and predicted a self-governing, self-defending Democratic Iraq by the time he leaves office in 2009. While it may seem that his views on the election and Iraq fly in the face of conventional wisdom, when your approval ratings are at Cheney levels, you can pretty much fly in as many faces as you want. Finally, Ron Paul is sticking up for Mitt Romney, and that's probably the only time I'll ever utter that sentence. In a comment to be released after Romney's big speech on religion today, Paul says that attacks on Romney because of his religion fly in the face of everything America stands for. Governor Romney should be judged fairly on his record and character, not on the church he attends. Now that is one comment you can take seriously because there is no way Ron Paul's trying to become Mitt Romney's vice presidential pick. And even if that somehow did happen, I think Ron Paul would still write in Barry Goldwater. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including juicy excerpts from today's Romney speech. And don't worry, to counterbalance the random Dolly Parton picture, I'm going to leave you with this image of Clint Eastwood. Right here on Playbook TV.